Well, there's a new Christian movie about to hit the big screen, and it's a true example of the body of Christ coming together for a unified project. It's called Beyond the Mask. It opens in theaters nationwide April 6th and will be coming to this area April 13th at the Kenton Theater. One local woman was part of the many who came together to help make this movie become reality. Hannah Bowers was part of the Beyond the Mask costuming crew. Mark is with her to learn more. Well, thank you, Jennifer, as we are now joined by the multi-talented Hannah Bowers to talk about Beyond the Mask. And first off, what's this movie about? Well, this movie is set in the um, 17th century, and it follows a fictionalized East India Trading Company as um, they send a group of people to America. And the heart behind the story is a man who has made a lot of mistakes in his life. And he, he gets a second chance. And it, it's all about how he, he changes from who he was into um, a follower of Christ and how that beautifully transforms his life and how it doesn't matter what he had done previously, but it, it was all forgiven. You mentioned it, it's a period piece. Mm -hmm. I suppose as a member of the costuming staff, that had to present some unique challenges to keep everybody in the correct costumes for the 1700s. Oh, yes. Definitely. Our, um, the woman who organized the costumes was very big on keeping it period correct. Yeah. So down to the detailing, we had to, um, to research it and to find out what exactly they would have worn back then. And it was uh, a lot of time just put into that research stage to give everyone a general knowledge of colonial period clothing. How did you get involved in this? You know, it was uh, definitely God opening doors, but we had moved back to Ohio and I'd been familiar with this family who made films and decided to check up on what they were doing. And they had open on their website for Beyond the Mask asking for costumers, set people, and just miscellaneous other positions. And so I applied to be an intern in the, with the film and they accepted me. It was shot mostly in Michigan? Yes, it was. It was north of Detroit. The central location was Ortonville, mm -hmm. a very small town. And then we also filmed in Flint, Oxford, and a variety of other just little locations here and there. So is life on a movie set as glamorous as the movies like us to think life is? <laughs> Definitely not. Um, it is a lot of hard work very little sleep and if you're working with union actors it's a lot of rules on who can start and how long they can work and when they have to eat so it, it's it can be a very stressful environment especially for me being a first timer on there some of the people just went from movie set to movie set and it it really takes a lot out of you as you mentioned it, this is a, a movie about faith it's a mm -hmm. christian movie yes it is and you know, we, we've heard in the last 10 years or so more and more movies being made with a Christian faith at, at the center of it and the importance of people to go out and support those movies. Then. Mm -hmm. You know, and it really is important to support these movies. This one was funded through a Kickstarter type um, fundraiser and it was definitely much lower budget than what you see coming out of Hollywood but they're really trying to work towards meeting that level and I think that's so important because um, Christian film historically hasn't quite been where secular film has been but we're, we're making strides and it takes the support of a Christian community who's willing to um, put in the financial support the prayer support now so that it can continue building and becoming better. And you know, this film is scheduled to come to Kenton, but actually yes, they need to sell a certain amount of tickets mm -hmm. before it really will come mm -hmm. next month. Yes, Kenton, they don't have to sell very many tickets. They only have to sell 53 to bring that there. And it's a wonderful opportunity to bring your teenagers um, and just, just go see this Christian movie. It, it's safe for that age category and um, it's a great family outing. And you were one of the extras as well? Yes, I was. <laughs> I, I was able to be a part of two of the extra days, which were crazy because you juggling, putting people in costumes, running on set to be an extra, and then running off set to pull people out of costumes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. You had a lot of fun. What else do you remember about making this movie? Which it was a couple of years ago that actually the movie was made. Yes, we, we filmed in 2012. And, you know, I, I was with a bunch of girls. The, really my first opportunity to be that close with so many other Christian young ladies. And so it was a great opportunity to also, from a faith standpoint, grow 
to develop some friendships that um, I continued keeping up with and um, it just as much as the movie was um, a great experience to put into um, with that community it received back and definitely have learned so much from it. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Hannah you. Bowers talking about Beyond the Mask. It's going to open up nationwide Easter weekend. It will be in Kenton the following weekend. For more information about that, let's send it back to Andy, Jennifer, and Zach. I am so excited to see this movie. You guys have already gotten a glimpse. <laughs> we did. We got a special screening of this, Beyond the Mask, and it is action-packed, let me tell you. I was, I was impressed. I, I have to admit I was surprised. Um, I hate to say that Christian movies sometimes have a stigma to it, like mm. you're not going to see something that's as high quality as mm. you might see, but I thought they, they did very yeah. well done on this. Act you know. full of, of explosions and <laughs> action. <laughs> yeah. It is. I'm not kidding you. It's well done. Yeah, I actually did shield my 10-year-old's eyes a couple times. It's not real violent per se, but I think this is a good movie for like, I don't know, you think 13 on up? Yeah. I mean, there's no PG-13 material, but it's just very action-packed. Yeah, there's no very, language. Very intense. There's no scenes that are questionable. Yeah. They mime just, everything? No language? <laughs> it's just Revolutionary War period time, and yep. you know what? Um, there, there were some battles in that time. Yep. And so we need people to sign up to see it in Kenton, so it's there, That's right. right? That's right. 53 people need to sign up at least? Yes, there are two ways to get tickets. Um, you're right, 53 people do need to sign up, but four of those can come through us.